Hello, pacemaker world. Hello, pacemaker world. If you're living with a pacemaker right now, I want to know what you're doing. Are you just sitting at home? Are you sitting on that sofa? Are you just in front of the TV? I think it's time we went for a walk. You know that your pacer, the sensor that increases your pulse, it only increases when you're in a forward motion. So this thing doesn't operate unless you get out and move. So, you know, when you live with a pacemaker, you, you have to be more in tune with your body. So when you go into the doctor, he's going to give you this rundown. And of course, he's going to interpret you with the machine. He's going to know exactly every heartbeat that you had, every blood pressure rise that you had. In fact, he'd probably know if you had sex or not. But don't be embarrassed. God knows too. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I feel so much different and fuller than I did before this latest surgery. They put this monster in me. God, it's a monster, ain't it? Goes with the abs, so it kind of fits good. But I like it anyway, so it's keeping me alive, keeping me aware of what's going on. The moment that I rolled out of bed the second day, I had it. I looked down at my ankles. Truthfully, I'm glad I got my glasses on. You can't see me tearing up because I started falling like a baby because my ankles weren't swollen. Now, this is a total different life that I live right now and this opportunities that I have. Being able to, after 28 years, to go back into bodybuilding and, and actually do something and look good. Uh, truly amazing at this age. Truly amazing at this health. So know that there's it's, the possibilities are limitless in whatever that's a field that you want to fly in. But go do something, man. This is the rest of your life. Live it. Grab it every moment. Please, I wouldn't trade this for anything. What a beautiful day. It must be like this every day. Be able to go for a ride on the motorcycle. Enjoy your life. I think I tell you, it passes fast. One day you're just a kid, next day you're an old man. And if you're dead once, <laughs> then you really start to enjoy life. You start to understand what it's really about. It's about living. Dying is about living. Anybody tells you different, they haven't been there. It looks like a pacemaker assembly out here, doesn't it? All these friends and well, maybe they're not all with pacemakers. Maybe I'm the only one here. But you know what? We know each other and we're around the world. My latest friend that I just met was Kurt O'Rourke. Kurt's had a pacemaker for seven years. He's served a career in the United States Army. Thank you for your service, Kurt. And it's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. And welcome to the pacemaker family. Well, pacemaker world and this world of anti-masculinity, how it hurts the heart, tears at the soul of real men. And that's why they're attacking us, because in times of trouble, who are you going to look to? Us, real men. Not them little soy boys with douche buns and skinny pants. They ain't got no ass. What are they going to do? Cry, go to a feminist with purple hair and scream they're bigots? What are they going to do? Nothing. That's why you need us. Pacemaker or not. I'm still all man.